My name is uh, Einar Björnsson. I'm a professor of gastroenterology and hepatology at the National University Hospital of Iceland. I was asked by the editor of gastroenterology to present our paper, Incidents, Presentation and Outcomes of Drug-Induced Liver Injury in the General Population of Iceland. Drug-Induced Liver Injury has, has become a, a very important uh, topic of research and it's a, it's a very important liver disease and a, and a differential di diagnosis in most patients with abnormal liver tests without obvious etiology. Um, although quite a lot of large series have been published and described the characteristics of the patients, very few uh, well-designed studies on incidence have been undertaken. Uh, only one population-based study has uh, been uh, performed, which was in, in uh, France, published in Hepatology uh, 2002 by Scro et al., uh, which found uh, during a three-year period in a city of France, the incidence, crude incidence of daily to be approximately 14 cases per 100,000 a year. Uh, in that study, there, there was no information available on the, on the quantitative risk associated with the use of drugs. Uh, in this study, we aimed to study the incidence, severity and prognosis of patients with daily in a population-based cohort. Furthermore, to determine the quantitative risk associated with the use of drugs leading to DILI by combining uh, our patients with, with pharmaceutical databases both for inpatients and outpatients. This study was, uh, took uh, part in, um, from the beginning of March 2010 to the end of February 2012, so during a two-year period. Um, in the beginning of the year 2010, uh, we sent a letter with information about the study to all physicians in Iceland. Iceland has a population of approximately 250,000 above the age of 15. So we, we de um, decided to include both um, outpatients and those who were hospitalized for drug-induced liver injury. And the definition were suspected drug etiology uh, and at least three times the upper limit of normal of ALT and AST and twice the upper limit of normal of ALP and bilirubin with other liver test abnormalities. abnormalities. And all, uh, we uh, had a thorough exclusion of competing etiologies and um, we connected our patients to the Icelandic Medicine Registry that res records prescriptions of all outpatients. And in hospitals, patients with a pharmaceut uh, um, pharmaceutical database for inpatients, uh, so-called Theriac. And the, for causality assessment, we used the so-called RUCOM causality assessment method. So. During this two-year period, we found a total of 96 patients. 56% um, were females, and um, the overall cohort had a median age of 55. So, the crude incidence of our study was 19 cases per 100,000 inhabitants and year, comparing to approximately 14 cases in the above-mentioned uh, French study with similar results, although somewhat higher in our study. 27% uh, of our patients had jaundice and 26% were hospitalized for a median of five days. Uh, the reaction was um, uh, caused by a single uh, prescription agent in 75% of casing, cases herbal and dietary supplements in 16% and, and multiple agents 
9%. The most commonly implicated agent was amoxicillin clavulanic acid in 22% in of cases. And um, also uh, diclofenac in 6%, azathioprine, infliximab and nitrofurutin in 4% of cases. The quantitative risk um, associated with the use of amoxicillin clavulanic acid was one case of daily uh, in uh, uh, 2,350 cases uh, using these drugs. So one out of two, approximately 2,000 cases uh, using the drug developed daily. Um, However, for diclofenac, one out of 10,000 users develop daily. However, the highest risk of daily was associated with the use of azathioprine, uh, which uh, one patient developed daily out of only 133 users. And for infliximab, one patient out of 148 users. Um, in most cases, the prognosis was uh, favorable and um, uh, only one patient died as a consequence of daily. So, um, to conclude our, pay, our, our study, we can conclude that the, the incidence of drug-induced liver injury was the highest report to date with approximately 19 patients per 100,000 a year. Uh, the amoxicillin clavulanic acid was the most commonly com complicated agent. And the highest risk of hepatotoxicity in our study was, associ was associated with the use of azathioprine and infliximab. And uh, thank you very much for your attention.